Hey, what's up you guys? It is Full Chair and welcome back to All The Mods 3. I have a pretty cool episode planned for you guys, so be sure to stick around. And yeah, as always, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so, um... I've decided I'm going to switch over from the mechanism machines to the thermal expansion. That's just because they are slightly more efficient as they give you a byproduct. They're faster and they don't make a sound, which was annoying. Although it's a good thing we did this uh, metallurgy confuser because we are going to need some steel today. So I'm going to get on making some of that so we can make a steel pickaxe from the Tinker's Construct mod. And yeah. So let's get into the making of that now. So I've assembled the head and the stick, the tool rod, and we just need to grab this molten steel from in here and turn that into a binding. I can go ahead and put this guy away and put this guy away and we'll come over to here. We'll throw that in, not like that. And then we have our first pick. So we'll call this Steely, Steely. Its, it's name is Steely. Uh, it has, um, a mining level of obsidian, it has a mining speed of 7, uh, durability of 590, which is pretty nice. It's going to be slow for the mining at the moment, but we're just going to go ahead and throw some redstone on it for right now. Just because I want to go grab some obsidian and, you know, so we'll stick that on and we'll stick that on. I don't want that much. I want like that much that's fine for now uh, we got a bit of haste on it now I'm gonna go ahead and run underground s probably somewhere and I'll be back with you guys with some obsidian okay guys so I am back from my mining I do believe okay guys I am back from my mining I've completely broken my pick and I've accidentally pawned steel into here so this could be an issue because I don't have a pickaxe right now um, so I'm going to show you guys a cool trick on how to break a block that you've already, uh, uh get liquids out of a, uh, tinker smeltery that you've accidentally poured into the wrong place because this is a useful trick that I learned, uh, which is going to make a stone pickaxe real quick. I don't really need it, but, uh, if I go ahead and break this guy here and this guy here, uh, because I meant to pour iron into there, but there you go. If I do this and I got 43 obsidian, by the way. Um, and we'll just pour this into there, like so, and that works. So that's a pretty cool trick to know if you guys didn't know it. I'm going to use this last piece of steel to repair my pickaxe because it's nearly broken. And we're going to uh, head on into the nether, I guess, then, because I need to get some cobalt and stuff. But before we do that, we might set up some thermal expansion just so uh, I can leave this running while I'm in the nether. So, yeah, let me go ahead and repair my pick. And, uh, yeah, we'll get into some of the thermal expansion, then we'll go to the nether. Okay, guys, so the two machines we're going to be making are the pulverizer and the redstone furnace. We'll start with the pulverizer. This just requires a copper gear, which we have plenty of copper for. They both reply, uh, require copper gears. We're going to need some tin gears, which we have plenty of tin. Probably going to need some iron as well. Uh, we're going to need a piston, which is why we have the wood over here and the cobblestone, a bit of redstone. And we should be able to... We need some glass that is something we're gonna need and I do have a powered furnace so we'll go ahead and use that although we do have some glass here so that'll probably do us for now so let's go ahead and craft up we're gonna need two of these machine frames so we're gonna need two of these tin gears like so and then we're gonna need two of these machine frames I'm gonna need a bit of flint by the looks of it I do have a bit in here though luckily I put that in there I also need some bricks so let me go ahead and grab some clay we're gonna need eight of that for the furnace that is anyway uh so we'll go ahead and just cook that up this thing is horrible to listen to but there you go it's a thing and we'll go ahead and make a one of those even though we don't have the wood for that we'll go ahead and make a thing you can make it with a bronzing as well okay we'll make a piston and we'll make four of these guys i think uh, you can never have enough copper gears anyway. And, oh, we're going to need two of these reception coils as well, which means we're going to need some gold, which we don't have any of. Uh, so I'm going to need to go ahead and smelt that up. And hopefully it'll work. I'm just going to harvest this while in the middle because I'm going to need plenty of paper for uh, what we're doing next anyway. So, yeah. Well, no, probably won't get around to it today, actually. Although we might do. I'm not sure yet. Uh, that's fine. 
Uh, we need the gold more urgently than that, so that can take precedence, although we do have a few bricks now. Uh, so yeah, for the resin furnace, we're just going to need this stuff. So I have the machine frames, I have the gears, I just need the reception coils now, really. So that should be okay. Uh, just waiting for these machines to go through. We'll make the reception coils times two of those. And we'll make the pulverizer. That was nice and easy. And we just need those last few bricks. And this is why I am changing away from these guys because they are very, very slow. Uh, so we can just go ahead and probably move these guys up here probably for now. Uh, I mean, they might come in handy if I need it secondary smelting or something, but you can't set up to for it to intake from this chest either, so that's kind of inconvenient uh, anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and move them up here because I don't really need them. I'm going to make some brick blocks, and uh, we're going to go ahead and make a redstone furnace. So we'll set the redstone furnace there and the pulverizer here. They are getting power. We'll set it input there, output here, and input output and i need to set these to auto input and i don't think i need to set this one to auto input but i'm gonna set it anyway and there you go we have our thermal expansion set up like so i'm just gonna throw all this stuff away and that'll start making its way through this chest and now if i just go ahead and go into here claim the chunks i'm standing in probably this one and we'll Go ahead and chunk load that area. So this should all be claimed and chunk loaded. Cool. So uh, while we're in the nether, all this stuff should get processed through. Hopefully, as long as it doesn't run out of coal. I'm just going to go ahead and fill that up. So let's go ahead and go to the nether. Although we might want to be able to fly when we're in the nether. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and make a leadstone jetpack. So let me get some of the stuff ready for that and I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, so I think I'm pretty much ready to go now with the crafting of the jetpack. So we can go ahead and make a leather strap. That is basically the easiest thing of this. Uh, this is a pretty easy thing to make. The only thing that's a pain is the sulfur and I had to get that I basically did coal in a pulverizer until it gave me sulfur. It has a 15% chance. So yeah, I got that. That's a bit of a pain. And then we've got to make these, which are an absolute pain in the butts because we've got to make four of these gears. And then we got to come in here again and we're going to go ahead and make two of these guys. And then we're going to go in here and make four of two of those guys. We need two. And then we can go ahead and make two of these guys again. And we can make two of the thrusters. No, we can't because we don't have the leadstone flux duct. So that would do that. And we'll go like that. And we have one. What are we missing for the other one? Lead. I have some of that coming through. So that's pretty cool. We are missing the lead. So there you go. We have two of those now. And that should do it. We have a leadstone jetpack which holds 800,000 RF, which we, you think is a lot, but it's really not. And I'm not going to bother making this guy because I don't really see the point. Um, so I made too many gears. I, I definitely did. We also need to make this energetic infuser then so we can get energy into it. Energetic infuser. This guy here. So uh, we have pretty much all of this stuff. Might need a bit of tin. Maybe a bit more lead and let's go ahead and try and make this guy up here and we definitely need some more glass so that is something we're going to need to start the smelting of is a lot of glass because uh, glass is something you need a lot in modded Minecraft. Not going to lie to you guys. Let me put that in there and we'll go ahead and make the transmission coils which we need two of and we'll go ahead and make one of those guys. We also have a lead gear up here so that's all ready to go. Pretty much everything in here is ready to go except for the two copper gears and we need some glass. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll make a machine frame. We've got that guy and we've got that guy. Energetic infuser, stick him. I guess he can go right here for now. We'll go like that. He's getting energy, but this should completely drain it. Oh no, uh, this guy's charging and we are all good. So. I'm going to wait for this guy to charge up a little bit, then we'll head on into the nether. Okay guys, I honestly got a little sick of waiting. This thing has 200,000 power, that should be fine. I also went in here to make a gold backpack, which is just, you know, this recipe, and then this recipe, and then this recipe. So we just have a bit of storage when we head on into the nether. Also, I would like to make a armor addition 
to the jetpack so we can make this iron armor plating like so and then add a leadstone jetpack to that and we can go ahead and throw that on like so and this thing acts as armor as well as a jetpack also i haven't even made a flint and steel yet i just realized so uh we can go ahead and do that and we'll do that i don't really need that but there you go accidentally grabbed it flint and steel and we can go like that and also if i come into my configs real quick controls and we look for simply jetpacks i probably want to have the toggle engine on something like that and the hover mode will be that one and there you go so we'll probably have hover mode on most of the time and as i was saying i'm going to disable jetpack engine but i accidentally pressed the uh, record key whilst i was over there uh, disabling stuff so we've set up another portal and i have already been through i do pre-warn you because i thought i was recording which is slightly annoying but there you go let's go ahead and hop on through and i'm recording now uh, also, the reason I have glasses on is because we have cosmetic armor installed and I have the glasses on over the helmet. So it shows the glasses, but I have the protection of the helmet, if that makes sense to you guys. But yeah, let's go ahead and head on through because, you know, need need to go to the nether to get that cobalt and that ardite and that quartz that we will get eventually, but not yet. Uh, so here we are, and uh, this is actually a pretty good spawn. It's in a nether fortress. Let's go ahead and enable the jetpack engine then because I want to be able to get over here so I can grab some of this beautiful cobalt nardite. That's the main reason we're in here. Can can I not mine this? Wait, what? Um, I thought steel was cobalt level, but it says opinion. Uh, obsidian. Pick, pickaxe. Have they changed something? Because that would be no fun. Head... Yeah, I swear, so I need something cobalt mining level. What's this? Cobalt. Um, Obsidian is, so we could just upgrade to an obsidian head. That would be pretty easy. Obviously, the cobalt is, and so is the manulin. And uh, obsidian, diamond. Cobalt's a level above diamond, by the way, just in case you didn't know. And I was, I always thought steel was, uh, what is it? Steel pickaxe head. Steel pickaxe head? Obsidian. Um, oh. So I'm going to have to go ahead and make an obsidian pickaxe head. Also, how ugly did the nether used to be? Gosh, I really do like the new textures more. So let me go ahead and upgrade this to an obsidian pickaxe head then. And then we can combine stuff apparently. Even though I thought we were able to with this pickaxe. Apparently I was wrong. This makes me really sad. So if I want to upgrade, I have to lose like 400 durability to this thing. But that, you know what? That's what we need to do to get cobalt. So I'm going to go ahead and change that over. We're going to jump into the nether again. And I'm going to grab some cobalt and ardite. And I'll probably be quite a while, guys. Because, you know, I want to get quite a bit of it. So I'm, I'm going to cut now. Uh, we've been to the nether together. And I'm just going to get loads of stuff. Well, I wasn't as long as I thought I'd be. I was about five minutes because I accidentally did the uh, vein miner on the netherrack thing twice. So my pickaxe is completely gone, but that's fine. We also killed a wither skeleton, didn't get anything out of it. Got a bit of lapis from the nether, but there you go. Uh, but I, I'm just, let's just, let's make some good tools, guys, because I have 30 cobalt and that's quite a lot of it. And I need to go ahead now and grind out basically a shovel one and, you know, all sorts of other things. So I need to grab like a shovel pattern and a axe head pattern and I need to decide what sword I want to make. I may make the cleaver. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to go ahead and make one of those. And then I've got to convert these guys on over to the 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 uh cast and then yeah so i'll be back with you guys when i'm ready to make some tools okay guys to get the better um the better stuff in tinker's construct you do actually need to upgrade like the better tools i'm trying that's what i'm trying to say uh you need to upgrade your tool station to a tool forge and to do this you're going to need three seared bricks and four iron blocks or any type of block actually uh, of metal and you can make a tool forge i just like the iron one and i have frozen there you go um, but there you go, and we've gone ahead and made that guy, and now we can make, like, the cleaver and the, all, the, all sorts of stuff. But I think I'm probably gonna go with a rapier for my main sword, because I like it, and then I'll probably make a cleaver as well. Uh, that'll be later on, though. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a rapier, a pickaxe, a shovel, and a hatchet, 
and that's about all we should need for right now I think although I could make my talk which basically works as a shovel axe and a hoe which I think might be a good idea so I may make one of these just to s not really to save on resources just because you know save on inventory space so let me go ahead and do that uh, get the stuff ready for that although I, I think I pretty much have everything ready except for this little guy here the cross guard pattern which we need to go ahead and make into that guy and throw in here and pour that on there uh, you can see we've got the cobalt poured out so that's cool uh, now I just I actually kind of need to work out what's best to use on what but for the most part we're just going to be using cobalt on these guys so like the axe head and the shovel head and all that but let me go ahead and get them made up decide what I'm going to be making everything out of I'm going to need probably at least four paper tool rods so let me get some stuff together guys okay guys got everything together so we'll go ahead and make the pick straight away so we're gonna have an obsidian binding just to increase the durability a bit i'm not sure if that made much a difference i mean i i'm not sure if that makes a difference or if we should go with something else maybe like a manulin one would do a bit better i do have a bit of manulin left over in here so maybe we go ahead and make some of that we can always smelt it back down which is the nice thing i'm being shot by a skeleton that's not very nice ow also, uh, that does have power, but I want those bones. I need to throw some coal in there, otherwise we're going to run out of power because we've been smelting things along. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Uh, so we've gone ahead and made one of those. A manual in one of those would incre decrease the durability. Okay, um, so I guess we'll go with that. I mean, cobalt tools don't have the highest durability. That's why we kind of put a diamond on them and stuff. But that's cool. We'll go ahead and make a mattock. So we'll have that and that. And that is a bit. It is a, it is a good mining speed. Uh, it's got four modifiers, which is pretty nice. So we've got that. And then finally, we've got the rapier, which is the tool sword blade, which is manulin, which has the best attack. Uh, cobalt has the best mining speed. Manulin has the best attack. And then we're going to try it with that. So this has an attack of 5.8 with the cross guard. Same attack. Is that more or that's less? So I guess we'll stick the obsidian on there as well, uh, like so. And we can re-smelt this guy as well in here So because we don't actually need him. So that's pretty cool. This is also my Akashic Tome, just by the way. So I can switch it back and forth between that. Uh, I don't really want this arrow. But yeah, to make the manulin, you just mix the cobalt and ardite in the smeltery. And it is a one-to-one -one ratio, so that's pretty cool. So we've got us uh, some tools now, so we can be off with these tools and get these guys in. Obviously, these guys need a bit of upgrading. We also do need to go ahead and make some bookshelves. Uh, so we're going to need nine of this, and I'm also going to need a bunch more paper because I need to get some mending moss, and to do that, and this basically allows, it's like the mending enchant for Tinker's Tools. So you get mending moss, and you get that by shift right-clicking on... Um, a bookshelf with a bit of moss this moss wherever it is this moss here uh, so I do need to actually get some mossy cobblestone as well which you can get that way you can get it in all sorts of ways but I'm gonna have to find some way of getting some and then I, I should be able to find some I'm pretty sure in there in that forest over there so that should be yeah there's some right there so let's go and grab like I think it's four pieces of this that'll allow us to no, not four. Yeah, well, we need three. I just need a bunch of this, to be honest with you guys. And this thing isn't going to have the best durability right now, but we'll stick a diamond on it when we get a diamond, actually, because I need to get fortune on this thing as well, fortune three. This only has four modifiers at the moment, and as you can see, it didn't take too well to being used there. So we're going to have to go and grab those diamonds down there, otherwise they are. this pickaxe is going to break. So I might run over and grab those diamonds so i can stick it on these tools although the sword doesn't really need it does it um how much durability so 76 durability is that it i just thought it would have more but yeah as you can see this stuff took real hit from that so we're going to need three pieces of this we're going to need some bookshelves which i don't think because paper this only gives you one paper in this so that'll only give us four books which isn't quite the amount of bookshelves we need so I need this stuff to get on its growing 
I need to go ahead and grab some diamonds. Uh, I need to stick some redstone and get some quartz for the for the sword so that can be upgraded. We need to get the fortune um, on the sword and the pickaxe, which is lapis. So I'm going to need to grab some of that stuff and lapis is mostly going to come from the nether. So I'm going to check actually how long I've been recording for this video and uh, I'm going to get some stuff together and we'll either be back or we'll continue this in the next episode. I'm not sure yet. Okay guys, I've done a few things. i got a first bookshelf so I'll go ahead and actually I don't think I need to make more than one bookshelf. I was actually being dumb. Uh, I believe you can just do this. Yep, you can just do this all on one. So that's not actually going to be too bad. I just made a book for no reason, but that guy can sit in there. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that kind of negates what I was going to do next anyway. I was going to use a watering can to speed up what the to speed up the growing process of the sugar cane, but kind of seems a bit pointless now. Uh, but you know, still pretty pretty useful to you know have. So I'll get go ahead and throw that in the backpack. What did I do with the backpack? That's 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 the que that's the million dollar question, guys. What did I do with the backpack? It's right there. Cool. Okay, because uh, you know, if you hold shift in this thing, then basically it basically puts everything in your inventory, which is a pain. But we, I went ahead and grabbed those diamonds. I also just put something away I didn't want to put away, but there it is. Uh, I went ahead and grabbed those diamonds, so we got four of them now. So I can go ahead and stick those on all of my tools. Uh, like so so we've got diamond on that so that takes me up to 562 durability 576 and 583 so that's pretty good that'll help us you know with uh, the, the durability then we got to stick this mending moss on so now we have uh, how many modifiers two modifiers left on this guy and with this guy we only have two left now as well and we only have two left on this guy as well so for this guy now we're probably going to want to put a bit of luck on there but that's not going to matter yet because we do actually have to get all the stuff but we can go ahead and stick on the quartz right now and get some sharpness going uh but the first thing you want to do is get the luck on the pickaxe uh because you can get more lapis that way so there you go we've got that and for this guy i guess we can just stick on a bit of redstone and cap it out like so and uh, I'll stick a bit of redstone on this guy because he will gain more modifiers as he levels up so that's pretty good for right now that's about all I've got at the moment guys so I'm probably gonna go on a pretty big mining trip that can go in there that can go in there uh, the sugar king can go over here yeah I need to go on like a real big mining trip right now to uh, go ahead and grab me quite a lot of stuff but luckily we have saved a bit of inventory space with a mattock this basically is very very quick on dirt it also acts as a hoe so that's pretty cool and also acts as an axe so yeah it's pretty pretty good tool and obviously a pickaxe is just a pickaxe this guy's not going to be the fastest in the world but there you go and the rapier has armor piercing so it just does damage um through the armor and also it attacks every time i click uh, as opposed to like a sword where you have to swipe with it. This guy just click, click, click attacks. So, yeah, I think we probably run out of time for this video, actually. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Do quite a bit of mining in between episodes. I also stuck the jetpack to charge. And uh, then we'll have a bunch of stuff. We'll have upgraded tools and all that next episode. And we can get on to some other stuff then that isn't Tinker's Construct and like early game stuff. Because, you know, we've got this going, which is pretty cool. And, you know, all that stuff. Obviously, the jetpack's charging up so I can go on my big adventure. We've got quite a few resources right now. I do need to do a very big push and resource collection. So that'll be something I'll do in between videos because I'm going to head on into the nether first things first because you can get loads of lapis in there. And then I'll go mining in the overworld. So, yeah, let's... Uh Let's end it here. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.